Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kim. I do videos on luxury goods, so if that's what you're into, make sure you guys subscribe. Today, I wanted to talk about one of my favorite bags from Chanel, and that's going to be the mini vanity. I actually have three different versions that I will be showing you today. The mini vanity actually came out i want to say a few years ago and since then it has become a really really popular item with chanel this is the miniature size and surprisingly they actually do have one that's smaller than this um but i have no interest in that size at all and they do have bigger sizes of uh, the vanity as well but i personally feel like the mini vanity that i have here is just the perfect size so i do have the chain knotted uh just because i like this as a i kind of okay so i'll tell you how i like to wear it um so i'll make a little knot on the inside and then just throw the whole chain in and let's close the bag so this is how i like to hold it almost like as if it's a top handle um it is really cute as a crossbody bag as well i do think it hits in the perfect spot for me but um yeah i've just been really liking it like this um, so this pink one right here is the very classic um mini vanity so it has two zippers i will say one of the cons of this bag is that you kind of need to hold the bag and then um, it's a little difficult to close and open um, just because of the structure of the bag but i feel like it's such a small con that i personally don't have any issues with it um it's not one of those bags that you know if you're wearing it you can just open it and close it with just one hand you definitely need to hold the base and then um you know kind of work it around to its shape this bag is actually one that i love to take with me when i am either going out like girls night or going out clubbing or i've worn this bag for weddings before and i just think it's the perfect bag this bag also carries everything that i would need for those type of events so i do want to show you kind of like a what's in my bag or what can fit into this okay so i'm gonna pretend like this is like a credit card obviously you can you uh carry more than one with you but i would generally put this in the back this is the lip oil from Dior, which I do like this compartment um, just for the lip gloss so it doesn't get lost. Some Purell hand sanitizer. And some more lip products. So I have an Aquaphor and a MAC lipstick that I will just throw in here. And I don't know, I always love to have my headphones on me so i mean there is more room for things in here too um let's see i just have my astia uh coin thing from hermes and i think it should close let's see i mean everything fits pretty well and there's still room if you are a kind of person that likes more lip products you can put more lip products in here let's see yep it fits perfect so i'll also try it on for you to see I am 5'2 for reference, so you see how it hits me there. I do love this bag a lot, and I do feel like one is probably enough, but I'm very excessive. And plus, Chanel always comes out with different versions of this bag. So this one is the 
mini vanity with the top handle. Um, I will say this bag, the, the leather on this bag feels really nice and soft. I mean, so plush. Whereas this one, I feel like it is plush, but because it's caviar, it feels a little bit like harder. Um, this one feels really nice, very luxurious and plush. Um, you can see on here, it is not a detachable chain. It actually is has a d-ring so there's a d-ring two d-rings for the top handle and then two extra ones that hold the chain and again it has two zippers i personally feel like there's no point in having two zippers for this bag because that's just like i don't know wasted space but again, it's going to look the exact same. There's the little Chanel imprint on there. And then a little compartment for your lipstick. And for these vanities, um, so Chanel does have like the metal plaques on a lot of their bags now. Well, pretty much all their bags. But I think because this is so small, they didn't want to put a plaque. So they do still have a um, sticker. And then they also give you an authenticity card that comes with it. So the last version I wanted to show you is going to be the mini vanity, but the pearl crush edition. So what makes this bag different is it has a little ball on the chain and it has this little CC on there. So when you actually push down on the CC and pull this smaller ball, you can actually thread the chain through to make it shorter. And I thought I would really like this bag because like you saw with the pink one, um, I will just um, tie a knot inside the bag and have it as a top handle or a shoulder bag. But with this bag, you don't need to do that. Like you actually have a ball that it, and it's meant to um, adjust the chain, the length of the chain. So I think that's actually really cool. I've seen people use this as a belt bag. I would not. I just feel like it's a little bit too, like, it's too wide to be a belt bag, but um, I love this for, like, on your shoulder. I think that's really cute. Or honestly, I mean, everyone is different heights, so some people who are a little bit shorter might need to shorten this to make it a crossbody, so I do love that aspect. Um, however, I just, uh, I'm not the biggest fan of any Pearl Crush bags, just because this ball is actually really, really heavy. Um, and yeah, I, I just feel like sometimes it gets in the way, like it's a really good idea, but yeah, I wish this was maybe a little bit more discreet. But yeah, I mean, I just wanted to show you the three different versions. This is also black with the aged hardware as well. The difference though, so I still have the sticker on this. I actually sewed this bag, so I need to ship it out after I make this video um, because I don't feel like I need three vanity bags in my collection, so. Um, but yeah, I still have the sticker on that. But the hardware is actually similar to the light gray color. Um, it's like an aged, gold the only difference though i'm seeing is if you look at this the cc doesn't have like the trademark stamp on it um which the trademark stamp generally is put on items that are limited ed edition uh but you see that on this like right there versus this one but yeah it's um more of a matte gold on these two pieces 
Um, the one thing I do wish about the gray one is that the straps were detachable. Um, I just feel like it's less versatile in a sense um, because for this one, the grommets are inside the bag. So how I showed you, I like to tie it and you know make it like a shorter strap. Unfortunately, I can't do that with uh, the gray one because there are no grommets. Um, they only have the D-rings. So if I wanted to wear it as a top handle, it's just a little awkward in, in my opinion. I kind of have to do something like this where I have to like tie the chain a couple times and then hold it like this um, versus, yeah, I can make this chain literally any length that I want um, because of the grommets. But either way, I will be keeping these two. I love them. Very, very happy with them in my collection. Um, for anyone who says that it's too small, I mean, it really does depend on what you're carrying with you and what you want to use these bags for. But yeah, I think they're perfect. I would highly re recommend. I feel like this video is a little bit rambly, so I apologize for that. I just feel really rusty um on my videos just because i haven't filmed in so long but thank you so much guys for your patience and continuing to subscribe to me and um yeah hopefully i will be better about filming more consistently as well as giving you guys more content but yeah thank you so much for watching my video i really appreciate it i'll see you guys in my next video bye